Ahoy! My name is Cullen. This is my 1978 Chris Craft Corinthian. In the last four months, maybe even less, I've been growing pepper plants on my boat. Yeah, you can actually do that if you have enough space, enough sunlight and everything. So I've grown some ghost peppers, poblano peppers, cayenne peppers, and bell peppers. And the poblanos are finally ready to harvest. So tonight we're going to be making chili rellanos. It's going to be so much fun. I've never done anything like this before. Oh, and by the way, in case this wasn't exciting enough, I'm going to make it a speed run. Let's do this as fast as possible because why the heck not let the timer begin. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients. We've got some onion, tomato, we've got some, um, what was that? Monterey Jack cheese, flour, eggs, kosher, and table salts, uh, garlic, and cilantro. I was all gonna do fancy cups like this, but I ran out of fancy cups, so we're stuck with the um, very, very classy red solo cups. And of course, you need your peppers. Come into focus. All right, this is the biggest poblano pepper I have on my plant. Look at her, she's a beauty. So we've only got one poblano pepper, but it's ripe, I have to do something with it. This is a huge moment for me. I've never harvested one of my own plants before. There we go. That is our star ingredient. And it looks really, really nice, but it's definitely not enough to warrant all of this. So our real secret ingredient is this, <laughs> which is just a lot more poblano peppers. Uh, yeah, so what happened was I had the one, and I'm like, I'm gonna make these. And so I went out grocery shopping and bought five freaking more. And they're all so much bigger than the one that I grew. Yeah, that's a little bit of a difference. But this one is ripe, I promise you. Uh, this one's just grown in a farm. All right. Uh, what the heck do I do? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, put it in the broiler. I have to turn the broiler on. This oven here, this is the original oven to the boat. I'm gonna turn on the broiler. That's the first time I've ever actually used the broiler. I've already set the pan to the top and I have to remove this plate. This might be the first time the broiler's ever been used on this boat ever on purpose. While that's heating up, let's put everything to the side and start making our sauce. Add tomatoes, onion, garlic, jalapeno. I don't, I did not do jalapeno because I wanted to only taste these peppers. Cilantro and salt into a blender, puree until smooth. Okay, I have a blender. Unfortunately, it is cracked down the side. So I gotta find some tape real fast and then I'll decommission this blender for good. Part of my speed run time for chili rellanos is going to go to taping my blender back together. Awesome. Okay, tomatoes. That's a lot of freaking tomatoes. I'm gonna put half the tomatoes now, half later. Tomatoes, onion, this is gonna be a lot of stuff in this blender. Three cloves of garlic, five sprigs of cilantro, salt, I'm guessing they want the table salt for this one, and a blender and puree until some, I'm just gonna blend what I have right now and then we'll add the rest of the tomatoes. Okay, we're already off to a great start. <laughs> this is a workout now. Okay, I'm gonna add the other tomatoes now. Doo -doo -doo. There, ooh, that actually smells good. I smell the cilantro. Okay, so I think our sauce is blended. Uh, the next thing it says is to heat olive oil. We've begun, we kind of run into an issue here because this old stove is only designed to run either the oven or the stove top at the same time. So we're gonna have to find a way to cheat the system and let it run both at once. Oh, I forgot, I forgot the most fun part. I had this little paper chef's hat. Is this even gonna stay on? Probably not. Let's get some more tape in the action. I've now got a tape chin strap just to keep my chef's hat on. So we got to figure out how to make one of these burners turn on. Okay, that's it. Okay, this one. This one will turn on while this one's on, but none of the others will. In a small saucepan, heat the olive oil. We'll get that going in there. So when that heats up, we will add in our sauce. 
let's see, are we broiling yet? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm actually gonna pull out the pan without burning myself and add all of the peppers. I need to keep track. Well, I mean, it's just the small one. The small one is mine and that's okay. Size doesn't matter, right? That's what you do. I'm gonna let that roast for five minutes. Let's go ahead and put in this sauce puree that we made. This could be an absolute disaster for all I know. Okay, so right now we've got our peppers broiling in the oven for five minutes. We've got our sauce on the saucepan for eight minutes and I've got nothing else to do. So I'll meet you back when that's done. Okay, our peppers should be good to flip if they are roasted enough. Let's check on those. I doubt they'll be roasted enough. Oh gosh, yes they are, yes they are. Okay, uh, ooh. Put you back in the broiler for another five minutes. I actually wanna taste this sauce to see how it might taste once it's all like boiled and everything. Oh, that's really good. It's almost got a sweet flavor to it from the, um, the tomatoes, I think. So our uh, poblano should be totally roasted now. It's been five minutes on each side. There is my little pot holder. And actually, my great-grandmother knitted this, like, probably 40 years ago at this point. I've got two of them, and they've been a little bit abused over the years, but they will always, always have a place in my kitchen. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. I know it looks bad, especially this one right here. You can kind of see, yeah, the skin is coming off. That's what we want, though. I want to I wanna make sure that all that skin is going to come off. The small one is the one we care about. That's the one that I grew. That's mine. Okay. Put that back in for another, let's say, four minutes. <laughs> also just occurred to me that this is a bright red sauce on my brand new white kitchen carpet because normal people have kitchen in their carpet, right? That's a normal thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to spill any of this. I am not. That's just a fact. Okay. All right, these are looking really, really good. Here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull them out onto a plate, just like that, and then I'm gonna cover them with that foil that already is going on there. Oh gosh, it's so tiny, oh no. Ah, but that's fine. So let's just wait until this sauce is done, and then we'll take the peppers out. And in the meantime, we can start heating up our oil for frying. Yes, frying stuff on a boat. Dude, that sauce smells so good. The cilantro is really prominent, but besides that, it just tastes like a, a tomato sauce that you might get on like a pizza. I'll probably let this simmer for a little bit longer than the recipe said because it's still pretty watery but it is almost time to uncover the poblano peppers, which is gonna be super exciting. Although I, I'm still gonna be very, very, very disappointed. I, I, I'm, no, I'm not gonna say it. No bad comments about my little poblano pepper. You hear me? I'm watching you. This little, this little tiny poblano pepper is gonna be the star of this dish. And that's just a fact. All right, it's time to uncover it and see, ooh, see, they steamed really, really well. Everything is like, you can see the, the condensation and that's exactly what we wanted because we're going to take off these skins. I know, I know there's a lot of people just yelling at me because they've done this for decades. I've, I, I don't know what I'm freaking doing. I'm sorry, uh, this is my first time doing this, but I, I really want to learn. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I think that one's pretty much skinned. That one came off in a huge clump. I've been, I've been actually dreaming about this moment. 
like when I finally get to cook some of my peppers for the first time. Because I've been taking care of these things and I didn't really know what I was going to do with them until I started looking up some recipes. The poblano is the obvious one. You're going to make at least one chili rellano with your poblano peppers. This is where that ingredient really, really shines. That, one of the very first things I knew about these peppers was I'm going to make chili rellanos. We're down to the most important one. This is gonna be like two bites, oh my god. All of our chilies are skinned. Cut a small slit down the middle. Um, and it says you can remove the seeds from inside if you don't want it too spicy, but I want everything I can get from these peppers, so I want them as spicy as possible. That was a lot easier than I expected to do surgery on a chili pepper. Tons, tons, tons of respect to everyone who does this just to feed their families. Like, this is a five-star dish in my book. Like, this is an enormous undertaking. Wow, I underestimated this. Okay, so I think that's one pepper stuffed, and it mentioned that you can use toothpicks to kind of seal it together. I'm going to go ahead and do the most important one. That's crazy. I grew that on my boat. Now I'm stuffing it full of cheese. I feel really bad that, that one is the one that's doing the worst right now. I feel like I should have practiced a little bit more, but that's fine. Exactly eight ounces of cheese was pretty much the right amount. I could have stuffed some other peppers more, especially, oh yeah, especially if mine was full size, then eight ounces of cheese is the perfect amount for six chilies. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be making some batter. I, I know how to separate egg whites and yolks in the bowls. I, my mom totally taught me that. Um, ah, I've already failed. I've already failed. I have already freaking failed. I cut the yolk. So, note to self, do better next time. <laughs> Separated yolk. Oh. This is taking forever! This is taking for freaking ever! I was stupid to think I could speed run this. What am I doing? Trying to make this on my lunch break? No, it's, it's, it's freaking midnight! I've got all the time in the world. Okay, okay. Since it says we're doing eggs until peaks form, I think I want to use the whisk attachment. The peaks still are not forming, but I'm out of space. Okay, I'm gonna count that as a peak. Um, then it said we mix in the yolks. So, egg separation, successful. Honestly, I, I, need, I need another drink. <laughs> what the hell? We've been cooking now for over an hour. I can feel it. And we're still going. This went from just like a fun, let's let's make some pepper foods to um, a deep appreciation of all the work that goes into some of the best foods in the world. Absolutely unbelievable. I am astounded. Oh man, I am literally going through every single one of my pans, bowls, tools, pots, uh, plates, everything is going to be, like, completely dirty at the end of this. There's really no going back at this point. Okay, they float. <laughs> Am I... <laughs> my... are completely coated with this <clears throat> frothy uh oh my god okay i just gotta keep working i just gotta keep working wow 
I've rebuilt my boat engines, and this is the most intense sequence of events I've ever tried to do. Maybe ever, like outside of school when I was doing a math test or something. Like, everything has to happen right now. Why did I put the freaking mixer in the sink? That comes out. That was stupid. Wow. I'm a bad cook. Okay, I can fit one more in there. I can fit one more. Let's do another big one. Fit quickly so that they all kind of happen at the same time. Okay, let's go. Oh no, it's split on the back. It's split on the back. It's split on the back. I'm not going to think about it. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so freaking stressful. Why did I think this is going to be easy? <laughs> Look at this mess. I don't know why I'm so stressed out about it. The, the only one that matters is not even in yet, but I am so freaking stressed. Just look at these little babies. They're gonna be so soft, fluffy, and gooey. And then this is the sauce. It's still simmering. It's really thickened up, but I want it even thicker. I am so far separated from the original goal of cooking with the pepper that I grew. At this point, I just want something to eat tonight. <laughs> it's like 12.30 and I'm still hungry. Okay, let's get some food. Okay, we still, we still got a full minute until I flip these peppers and they are very golden brown. This is gonna be so delicious. Okay, I went from scared to eager to absolutely freaking out of my league. And, and then, I'm excited. And then I'll take this set out, I'll plate it, and then I'll call time <laughs> on my speed run that I guess is still happening. That, that was a goal, I guess, at one point. Gee. <laughs> I do have a little bit left of this cheese, and I've got a minute. I can chop this extra cheese up into a garnish. I feel like I'm a master chef. <laughs> I literally feel, that's what it comes down to, right? Is getting the garnish right. I'm, I'm spending my last minute on the clock getting this garnish right. I still need to get the cilantro though. Can I do this? Can I freaking do this? Oh no, my 30 seconds is up. <gasps> no, all the cheese. No! All the cheese fell out! Did, did all, all the cheese fall out? No, okay, okay, we're still stuffed. It just, we, we're missing a lot of cheese, but that's fine. We're just gonna move on to coating these in the batter and dipping them in. And of course I'm gonna save the most important one for last because I'm a, a wimp who's scared of what could go wrong. Good look out there. Yeah, my, my lips are full of flour now. <laughs> Godspeed! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna plate the first round. I've never done anything that's supposed to look good before. I've only seen it on TV. But I feel like this is going to look so incredibly good. And what's that one thing that they always do? They always have like a... Doop. No, it didn't even work. To garnish this off, I need some cheese. And some cilantro. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I have got to, got to, got to taste this. I've got one minute left until I flip the ones that matter. Remember, that's the one that matters, the small one. But I have got to taste this one. Mmm. Wow. I am not acting. I have never, I, I've got to flip these. I've never tasted anything like that before. Oh my God, it almost tastes like dessert, but there's no sugar in this. There's zero sugar. It tastes like dessert. 
I, I cannot describe how this tastes besides just... That batter is so luxurious. <laughs> I feel like a complete idiot saying that. Like, who is this guy? I'm just some guy who lives on his boat and make YouTube videos about it. This should not taste nearly as good as it is. Especially being made by me. Oh. And it tastes meaty too. But there is no meat. It's only cheese and the pepper. Oh my god. This is literally the best thing that's ever been made on this boat. I don't freaking care what other owners have done on this boat. This is the best thing that's ever been made on this boat, bar none. That's just a fact. It's impossible to beat that. Okay, I still have to try the most important one. And I'm scared. This, this pepper came from that plant. That plant right there. I watched this thing grow. The first fruit or vegetable or anything of any kind that I've ever eaten that I've grown. I tried to go like pumpkins when I was a kid. Of course that didn't work. But this did. And it's gonna be so good. Fingers crossed. It's fine. It's fine. Just gonna let it sit there, let it drain. But let me tell you what, this one right here, I, I gotta eat more. I just gotta eat more. It's too damn good. It's too damn good. This is too damn good. Please tell me I'm not gonna be making this every week for the next future. I cannot make this on the boat every freaking week. So everything on this plate costs like $6. Man, let's, let's bring the king pepper. My little baby. Let's top you off with some cheese. I'll have to steal some cilantro from the other ones because I don't have enough for you. And I forgot to put the sauce on top first. <laughs> this one was never going to be the most pretty. It was never gonna be the biggest. It might be the best. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, it looks so good. It might, it might, it might be even better than the store-bought Poblanos. It's so freaking tender. I don't know about taste because, I mean, after you've, you've deep fried it and roasted it and everything else, covered it with cheese and cilantro and sauce, it's very hard to taste. But it tastes really, really, really good. But it's more the texture that's different between this and the store-bought one. It's so freaking good. Okay. Yeah, it's sweet. And that's what I was trying to say earlier is it's just very sweet, but not in an overpowering way, but just like in an obvious, yeah, this is peppers are fruits. This is a fruit. Man, I'm so glad I did this. I will not be doing it again anytime soon. So I hope you enjoyed this special cooking episode of Cullen Craft. Dang, I wish I could share this with each and every one of you. This is so delicious. But anyway, I can't. So goodbye.